What's up, Polka? Today is December 11th. I'm your host, Jakiria Milton. And I'm your co-host, Jara Ray. And, and your Straight Era News starts now. We are unique. We are strong. We are proud. We are persistent. Nosotros somos creativos. We are excellence. We are resilient. We are mighty. We are number one. We are Polka. Polka. What's up, Polka? I am Dominique Her, your menu expert. Today we will have pepperoni pizza, green beans, corn on the cob, and fruit. Monday we will have teriyaki chicken, egg roll, fried rice, and fruit. Tuesday we will have cheeseburger, tater tots, baked beans, and fruit. Wednesday we will have chicken and waffles, hash browns, fresh vegetables, and fruit. Thursday, we will have lemon pepper chicken, turnip greens, butter carrots, and fruit. Happy holidays, Lodge Poco. We are coming to the end of the 12 days of Christmas. Here is a list of the dress up days for next week. Monday is dashing through the snow. Dress as one of Santa's reindeer. Tuesday is ugly sweaters. Break out your tackiest sweaters. Wednesday, Mad About Plaid. Wear your favorite flannel shirt, pads, suits, and etc. Seeing we be taking civic exam today, make sure to eat your breakfast and knock it out of the park this morning. The National Honor Society would like to, for everyone to participate in this year's toy drive. Students may receive extra credit for donated toys, so make sure to ask your teachers. All toys that are donated should be new and unwrapped. Don't forget the older kids. Include books, gift cards, electronic gaming, accessories, and sporting equipment. Next week, will be the last week to turn in gifts, so don't wait. Let's help out and get back to someone that may be less fortunate than you are during these trying times. Congratulations to this month's Junior High Hall of Famers, 7th grader Amanda Harris and 8th grader Jemiah Oliver. Amanda Harris is a very dedicated student. Her teacher says that she comes to class each day prepared and ready to learn. She is always positive and very respectful to her peers and teachers. Jemiah Oliver had really impressed the teachers this year. Her teachers say that she is very positive and extremely motivated to her peers. Whenever a classmate complains of not being able to do their work, she always responds, you can do this, just try. Keep up the good work, ladies. Los Poco family, with COVID cases still on the rise, let's do our part and continue to maintain all social distancing guidelines. Make sure to continue practicing the three W's. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and wash your distance. Now here's Liberty with your birthday shout outs. What's up, Poco? I'm Liberty with your birthday shout outs. Oh, shorty, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. With Trail Pitts, Jabari Stinson, Andrew Shepard, Louis Regus, Miss Freeman, and Miss Klein. Also, happy belated birthday to Natreja McCurdy. Make sure you wish them happy birthday. Everybody needs a little pick me up. Here's Shandria with your weekly encouragements. What's up, Poker? Have you ever just had a bad day and nothing felt like it was going right? I'm pretty sure we all have. But whenever you do, just remember, a bad day is only as bad as you let it be. Now we are going to shoot it over to Jalen Hughley and Jay Payne for your Straight Arrow Sports. What's up, Poker? I'm Jay Payne with your Sterile Sports. And I'm Jalen Hughley. The girls has a beautiful Wednesday night and won 36-27. The girls were led by Taylor Murph with 13 points and 6 rebounds. Mayanna Chanel scores a season-high 9 points and 6 rebounds. Shadira chipped in with 6 points and 10 rebounds. That makes the girls 75. The boys that I tell you had been hot this week, beating Beulah twice. 
The first game last Friday night, 65 to 20, and last Tuesday, 50 to 28. They also beat another Lee County rival, Bullgar, on Monday, 62 to 44. Here's what Miss Cone had to say on the boys' recent success. We played decent ball. We've been able to push our record to six and three, which is very good. Our last two years, our first nine games, we started out at one and eight. So to flip that around and be six and three is a very good, uh, th a good place to be. Um, we beat Beulah the first time by 40. Um, we came back on Beauregard the first time they beat us uh, by three in overtime. This time we were able to get our game together because I don't think we played well the first time we played Beauregard. So we cleaned it up and we beat them by 18. And then again, Beulah, we got them by 20. Um, Jay Moore led us in scoring. He had 27 against Beauregard and recorded his first dunk. Uh, Jay Payne had 10. And then uh, Courtney Dadell and Jordan Holly chipped in with eight apiece. And again, we had uh, 11 out of 12 players to score, which is a very important thing because it's a team game. And I love it when all the players chip in and contribute. Um, looking forward again to getting in there with Auburn is going to be a tough challenge, but I think my guys are up for it. Both the girls and boys hope to continue their winning streak when they host Auburn High School tonight. The tickets are also sold out. So if you didn't get a ticket, I'm sorry you have to miss out on the action. They say laughter is the best medicine. Here's Tyler Mock with your joke of the day. How do you know when Santa's around? You can sense his presence. With one more week of classes for this crazy 2020 school year, let's finish this year off strong next week. That's it for today, but before we go, here at Straight Outta News, we wanted to wish Coach Ponder and his new wife Taylor a big congratulations. They got married last Saturday. Make sure to tell him congrats when you see him when he gets back from his honeymoon next week. Here's a small glimpse for their big day. This is Straight Arrow News.